Today in the Toyverse, we dive in with an early look at some DC Films Black Adam action figures. And up on the chopping block today is not only the 7 inch scale Adam Smasher, but the Mega Fig Adam Smasher. Don't know why there was a pregnant pause there. Anyways, these guys are pretty cool. You know, I've played around with them for almost a week now, and I gotta say, I kind of like the Mega Fig better than the 7 inch version. But, anyways, we'll dive all into that in a bit here. Uh, let's go ahead and start with articulation. So this is going to be a different type of review. It's going to be a lot of comparison between the 7 inch and close to 12, 10, 12 inch scale, whatever it is. In terms of the heads, they both move about the same for the most part. Really no problems with swivel action and ball hinging and whatnot. The Mega Fig definitely looks up and down a little bit better, I think. But, I mean... It all depends on what you're looking for, right? So, in terms of the arms, they both rotate around the same. They both go in and out. We also got the bicep swivel, the double bend at the elbow. The wrist articulation is a little bit different. On the Mega Fig, it's more like a Marvel Legends hand. And then the 7-inch scales are ball peg system that we've seen from McFarlane. Now, in terms of the waist, they both... Uh, rotate and go side to side with really no issue at all and then at the lower waist we get the rotation that works really well as well and goes all the way around so all that i'm happy with but what i am happy to report is that we do get a good ab crunch i think at this stage in the game with mcfarland it goes forward enough and i think it goes back enough that it's going to make most people happy some people are still going to be angry but I definitely think you get a lot more movement than we've normally seen, as you can see in these two poses. In terms of the legs, they go out and do the splits. They kick forwards. I didn't show up, but they do go back quite a bit. Uh, we got a little bit of thigh rotation on both of these guys. And then we got a double bend at the knee, which works tremendous. And then we got a hinge at the foot that kicks forward and back. And then ankle rocks side to side. And then, of course, our toe hinge. So all in all, this guy actually articulates pretty cool. Now moving on to Albert's design here. The Mega Fig, obviously the textures and the details are going to be a lot better. Especially in the head and the bodysuit and whatnot. But this is an interesting choice. They decided to go with like the Spawn Deadpool look for this guy. Uh, the film company, not McFarlane. Uh, I think it works. I understand what they're trying to do. Uh, but he kind of just looks kind of sad and depressed and not so much smash and destroy Now in terms of the body uh, The logo came out pretty good the paint I actually thinks better and it's not picking it up on camera But I think the paints actually better on the smaller uh, The seven inch scale than the bigger figure, but the texture of the suit looks a hundred times more cooler on the mega figure obviously you got a bigger canvas to work with and of course you have the back of the figure there with the nice collar piece and whatnot uh let's talk about the arms one of the things that's always prevented me from getting into spider-man marvel legends again is the two-tone pins and we got this here it just breaks my heart to see it on a mcfarland figure it's not the first time we've seen it oh i wish i wish there was a better system i understand that's pinless but this is what we get. I bet you thought it was going to fall over. It didn't fall over. Ha ha. Fooled you. So there is that. But everything sculpted very nice. It's just those blue pins stand out. Uh, in terms of the lower body, everything looks about the same. There's really no issues there um, that I can tell. Uh, the detail works pretty good on both figures as I'm trying to showcase here in the photos. Not too much there, it's just the texture of the suit that looks a little better once again on the Mega Fig. So yeah, I mean the design definitely works. Now accessories, this is where it's kind of funny, strange, and weird all in once. You get two cards. There's just a slight color variation between the cards. The 7 inch scale comes with two fists and two open hands. And the Mega Fig just comes with a standard base and card. Uh, a little sad to not see the Mega Fig have additional hands. Uh, but, I mean, uh, it's both a love and a curse. And here's the back of the card for those curious. 
As for our size round up here, here is the seven inch scale with various six inch and seven inch scale figures. See how he stacks up with like Mezco, Diamond Select, Marvel Legends, Power Rangers, G.I. Joe, WWE, Storm Collectibles, Mythic Legion, Star Wars Black Series, Super 7, NECA. And then speaking of NECA, there we have Chrome Dome here. I didn't know which bigger figures to grab, so I went all over the place. Um, so you can see how he stands. I do wish he was taller than uh, what's his face from Thor, Ragnarok. But and then I got a custom figure by uh, Detour Customs. There, go check him out. Final thoughts. Uh, the, I kind of regret buying the seven-inch scale figure. You know, when you think of Adam Smasher, you don't think of him in normal size. You really think of him in a bigger size. So that's why I put him in this predicative pose here. As for the Mega Fig. I, I like it. I wish it was a little bigger, like I said, but I still enjoy it, and I definitely think I just got a little crazy happy with picking up both figures. I also picked up Hawkman, but I don't know if I'm going to review him or not. We'll see. Uh, anyways, that's the review. Let me know if you have any comments or thoughts. Head over to Comic Crusaders for more fun, and uh, I think that does it for me. So everyone, take care and great googly moogly.